So apparently I completely spaced on recording an intro video for this uh, section of the build. So here I am looking the fool and recording a voiceover. In this part of the video I will be uh, rounding over the edges of the body with a router, sanding the body, and uh, drilling a whole bunch of holes in it and getting it ready to get assembled. So here we go. test fit up of the pickup wires for which I have just drilled the holes from the pickup cavity into the control cavity. I think I should be good, but just gonna double check it. This pickup kit complained about the wires being too tight, but there's clearly plenty of slack here if you plan your path. So, great. That will look lovely.
Hey, so I'm back in the shop. Time for some routing. Uh, we're gonna round over the front and back edges of the body and hopefully make it nice and comfortable and ergonomic to play. Here we go. So here's our body post routing. I think it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with uh, the way the half inch radius looks on a tele body. Um, only screwed up a little bit here and there. Most of that can be fixed with sandpaper. Uh, only had one big chunk and blowout here. But uh, again, that's uh, luckily, that's a spot that I was planning on doing a little extra relief with the, with the Shinto rasp. So it's probably gonna get uh, taken out in the wash, as the, as the saying goes. Uh, also planning on, well, considering whether or not to do a deeper radius on the backside of the guitar instead of this half inch, I was thinking uh, about doing a three quarter inch round over just to make the back really, really comfortable. Um, the the uh, cover plate, Turned out pretty good. Um, looks almost like a design solution by someone who designs things. So, yay me, I did good. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. That's gonna clean up nice with some sandpaper and uh, gonna be on to sanding and finishing this guy in a short amount of time, it looks like. So, yay. There's that. Okay, so in the interest of uh, ergonomics, I've been planning to do some, uh, some cutaways to make this a little easier to play. So among other things, I'm planning to do a cutaway on the neck to give a little more access here. So we're gonna have a kind of little bit smaller profile right down where the neck meets the body um, to allow my hand to get around the back here. I can't see that. Um, but to get my hand around the back as I'm playing the high press. Other thing I've been planning is to do a little bit of an access point or a, a little bit of a carve here to make uh, my access for my right hand a little bit better, a little more comfortable. So I'm gonna kind of draw in something here and I'm gonna carve that down ever so slightly just to add a little bit more ergonomic access to the guitar. Do something like this and do a slight carve down from that point, maybe, maybe a half inch or so. And then I'll, uh, after I've done that carve, I will sand it up again to make it look super pretty. Let's see about doing something similar on the back here. Of 
probably should have designed this before doing the routing, but uh, you know, figure, sometimes we figure these things out as we go along, so. The other bit I was planning on doing was a little bit of a cutaway here to make it also slightly more comfortable on the back end. So I'm just gonna do not even a facet, but really just a little bit deeper carve here, um, down you know, half inch or so, just to improve comfort while playing. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so here comes the heckin' scary part. Feral holes. Okay, I've got my neck bolt holes, 
or screw holes drilled and ferrules in place. And uh, I've got the neck screws kind of set where they're gonna go. And they look pretty good. And they are not poking up too far and the back of the neck looks good. So here's a quick peek at how these are looking. And screws poking through about as much as I would like them to be for the neck attachment. So that's good. Scary drilling is over, yay. Okay, time for some more scary drilling. This time a big, big one.